Thanksgiving, everybody. I'm going to do another video on Thanksgiving, but I wanted to do this real quick, like, uh, about a couple of things. First of all, uh, somebody sent me some information on the American Tibetan Book of the Dead or something. Anyway, I did a quick scan of that thing, and wow, wow, wow. You know, I thought the Christians and Jews and such would scare you with hell, but whoa, those guys are intense, man. You've just, it makes it sound like dying and getting in the right place is extremely complicated or you got to have a, a somebody to take you through it that is it intense uh yeah anyway i just want to say wow wow absolutely not true by the way well unless of course you believe it and you create it whenever you die just like the heaven hell thing but yeah you don't need instructions on where to go and what to do whenever you die or you end up somewhere horrible or in the wrong place very odd. <laughs> but also, I wanted to talk to you guys about things like teas. Now, what they did was way back in the olden days, and they started calling uh, witches, witches and saying they were bad. And they would talk about bruise and uh, newt's eye and dragon blood and all that stuff that they would make bruise and cause people problems. Well... All of those weird names, those are names of herbs. And those herbs, uh, you can make teas with them, and it cures just about everything. So I really encourage you to uh, look at what is growing around you. Learn wild crafting. And really uh, talk to the plants. Because there are so, just about everywhere anyone lives, where there are plants growing, there's a plant that will cure uh, whatever it is you've got a problem with. Uh, there's not just one plant. They're all over the place. So just do a little bit of study. Uh, I don't know if I've said anything to you guys about that, but if you can find it on your own place or a local park and collect it, and uh, all you've got to do is make a tea out of it. That's all you've got to do. Throw it in some water, steep it, and make a tea and drink it. Uh, things like lemon juice and uh, baking soda, apple cider vinegar, uh, do some checking on that stuff because there are just magnificent a uh, guy has just about everything you need all you've got to do is look look at it and it all got a bad name because of the weird names of the herbs but uh, a lot of the herbs are very very good at solving any of your issues and i'm not promoting stop seeing your doctor stop your medication i'm saying i was on medication too but i gradually changed over to natural cures Okay, and also I wanted to talk to you guys about totems, totem animals, uh, because I don't think I've talked to you guys about this too. And these are ways that uh, Gaia has already got built-in systems to help you in your human form. So the plants uh, have all kinds of, of ways to help and cure you, and the animals and the insects uh, will talk to you. And you can go online, so let's say you start seeing ladybugs everywhere. You just notice that they're just ladybugs everywhere. Then go online and look up a uh, totem meaning for ladybugs and then read down through it. And uh, there's all of this available on the internet. So just plug in whatever it is that you're really noticing. You've noticed a hawk around you all the time, all the time. Those animals and insects and birds will send you messages. They will talk to you until you can communicate with them. And that information has been passed down by uh, shamans and very wise original peoples over hundreds and thousands of years. So <clears throat> it isn't just a matter of a totem animal that stays with you forever, your whole life, but there are literally animals and insects and uh, birds that will come in and you'll, they'll be in your vision. You'll notice them over and over again, and they're trying to give you a message. Uh, frequently, your pub friends and your higher self will communicate to you via totem uh, beings. Okay? So that's just a couple little things. So remember, check out your wild crafting. Look for natural plants in your area that will help you deal with whatever issues you have, and I mean any of them. Again, it's all on the Internet. Uh, you can just look it up and then uh, pay attention and communicate with the uh, animals and birds and insects that are trying to talk to you and give you messages.
This will help tremendously. And if you get used to using those two things, it will draw you closer to Gaia, get you closer to be able to being able to communicate with the plants, animals, birds, and insects as you move down the road. Okay? All right, so that's my gift to you on Thanksgiving Day. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to invite you all to my Thanksgiving dinner later with a downloaded, another downloaded video. Okay, guys? All right, huge hugs. Love you so much. And I'll talk to you later. Bye now.